Greetings in the name of Jesus. Today I'd like to implore a question. Has God ever said no to you? A scripture portion I would like to read today is from Gospel according to Luke chapter 8 verses 26 onwards. We read about an incident where Jesus along with his disciples sailed to the country of Gerasenes which is opposite to Galilee. When he landed, when he came to the land, he was greeted by a man from the city who was possessed with demons. What do you read about this particular person? He was a headache to people. He lived in the tombs, causing self-inflicted injury. And that's the kind of lifestyle he lived. But when you read the scripture portion, which you might be very familiar with, we read about three questions in this particular portion. The first question is, we read about the demons. They ask or they make a request to Jesus. They make a request to Jesus saying that they implore to him, in verse number 32, to permit them to enter the swine or the pigs. And Jesus gave an answer yes to it. He gave them the permission to move into the pigs. He didn't say no to them. And the demons came out of the man and entered the swine, as Jesus permitted, as far as their request. And the herd rushed down the steep bank into the lake and were drowned. So the first question in this particular portion is this question. That was a request before Jesus that the demons themselves put. And if you see, Jesus answered yes to this question. When we go further, we read about the second question. The second question is from the people in the locality. They hear about what actually happened. They were quite angry. And when they came to see what actually happened, they found that the demon possessed man was healed and he was sitting with Jesus. And all the people of that country, they came forward from the surrounding districts and everywhere and asked Jesus to leave him. For they were gripped with great fear. What was Jesus' a response to this? To the second request that we find in this portion? The answer is the same. Jesus did not say no. He said yes. Interestingly, the third request that comes before Jesus is from the man who had been healed. But the man from whom the demons had gone out came out begging that he wanted to accompany Jesus. But Jesus' answer to this was not positive, but negative. Jesus did not say yes to this man. When we consider this question, do you think that the question was wrong? That he wanted to follow Jesus? We even read that he was even begging Jesus. You got to understand, it's not about the question. It's not about the way that he asked Jesus. But Jesus had greater plans about him. What did Jesus tell him? Jesus told him that return to your house and describe what great things God has done for you. So he went away proclaiming throughout the whole city what great things Jesus had done for him. Sometimes when Jesus says no to us, you got to understand God has got a greater blessing. So he became an ambassador of Christ in that land who did not promote Jesus or who did not support Jesus. And Jesus placed him there and said, Son, you be my ambassador in this land, in a place that has not accepted me. Children of God, let's go into back into our own lives. Has God ever said no to you? I'm sure it would be upsetting, it would be frustrating, and we'll be very sad about the fact that God said no to our request. And we probably do not know the future. But let me tell you, if God has said no to you, understand there is a hidden blessing, a greater blessing beyond what we can fathom or we can understand. So do not get upset about any of God's no in our lives. He is the Alpha and the Omega. He knows everything and he knows what's best for you. May God bless us.